I have her Olympic jersey. Um, <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Hannah. If you're new, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you a Q&A. I'm finally getting around to filming a Q&A. I filmed one a while back and it turned out awful. I am going to refilm it right now. Um, this is going to be part one of two, the volleyball edition. I got so many questions and I've just been needing to make a volleyball Q&A because I get so many questions about volleyball nonstop. It's constant. Um, I'm doing a volleyball Q&A right now and then I will also do more of a personal lifestyle me Q&A. It's so hot in my room because it's midsummer and it is so hot. It's nice and sweaty in here. Q&A time. Just got another comment about volleyball. Happens all the time. I am gonna have the question up on the screen. I'm not gonna try to pronounce their names um, of who sent the questions in. Sometimes people's names get very complicated and I don't wanna offend anyone. <laughs> so we are gonna just stick with the questions. Question number one. Hi, I'm from South Africa. I just found out that our local university has a junior volleyball club and I'm so excited to start. Do you have any advice? I'm kind of nervous because I have zero experience. I really enjoy your videos. Ah, thanks. Hi, you're from South Africa. I was there this summer and I loved it. Every single second of it, it was amazing. So I love your country. Um, and advice, this is one this is like the question I get all the time. Advice for tryouts, advice just for volleyball in general. Advice that I have for you is just, even if you've never played before, educate yourself. You wanna make sure that you put yourself in the best position to be the best that you can be, and that's by educating yourself, um, going on YouTube, watching videos like you're watching right now, um, just seeing and watching videos, reading articles, magazines, things that are gonna help you to know more about volleyball, know more about the game, the rules, all of that, and also different types of positions, how the game works, rotations, that stuff is gonna be so important and it's gonna put you ahead of people if you are a beginner. Also, make sure that you just try your hardest because a coach is going to want to see someone that's really, really trying. And even if you've never had that much experience, if they see you try and if they see you ask questions and are really, really interested and are very excited about playing, they may want you for their team. So there's that. This is not a tryout question, but I do have more tryout questions that I may answer a little bit later because I've gotten so many questions about tryouts. That video. So I will be answering a few more questions about tryouts a little bit later, um, but that's just kind of some advice on starting. If you have friends that play volleyball, ask them questions. Just ask questions, okay? Asking questions is amazing. Watching games really, really helped me to see how they move, um, and yeah, just work hard at it. Get outside, just work hard. This question is, what are 20 tips for trying out for volleyball? If I sat here long enough and thought about it, I could give you 20 tips but for now, I'll just give you two, okay? Um, definitely hustle. Hustling for the ball is one of the most important things that coaches look for in tryouts. Um, they want a player that hustles and works hard and runs for the ball and is on the floor diving for a ball and doesn't want the ball to hit the ground. Um, that's super important to coaches. They want a player that is all in and that has a full heart and a lot of hustle. Also, a player that asks questions. Um, if you ask questions and if you really, really want to make sure you understand the drill that you're doing in tryouts or if you just have questions in general, ask them. They are gonna want to answer your questions. They like to answer questions. Well, most coaches should like to answer questions. And um, they will see that you're a coachable person. They want coachable players. Um, much rather than a person who thinks they know it all and doesn't accept any advice. So if a coach or a judge at tryouts is um, giving you advice, take it with a smile and just apply it um, because they're gonna want a player that is coachable and that wants to learn and wants to get better. Next question, what other sports do you love to play? <laughs> um, well, I think that volleyball is the only sport that I actually love playing. I played basketball for two years. Um, they were interesting, but fun years. Um, I liked it. I didn't love it. 
Um, at the time, I liked it because I had not discovered volleyball yet. So I played basketball for two years. I played um, one year of middle school, played eighth grade year, and then I played ninth grade year, but I played varsity in ninth grade. That was a stupid decision. Played two years of soccer. Um, I'm awful at soccer, that's why I quit. Um, also why I quit basketball, because I'm awful at that and I don't like being bad at things. Um, and I haven't done anything else. I danced for nine years, but most people say that dance isn't a sport, so whatever. Next question, how did you find that volleyball was the sport you wanted to play? Love you. Okay, so love you too. Um, I would definitely say that volleyball, I've always been interested in volleyball. I've always thought that it was a really, really cool sport. Since I'm homeschooled, I never had the opportunity to be able to play volleyball, and I didn't know that club volleyball was a thing until I started playing high school ball. So um, my homeschool basketball team finally, finally, after I begged and begged and begged, they finally started a volleyball team. And so I played with them for the first year. And I've been playing with them for the last two years and I'm about to start my third season with them. Um, and so once I started playing volleyball, the first time I touched the ball, I was like, I love this, I love it. And um, it was very, very confusing and very, very, very discouraging at first because I didn't understand a thing. I didn't know that there was a rotation. I didn't know what the players' names were. I didn't even know what a setter was. Um, I had no clue. And so I went into this volleyball camp and I didn't know a thing about it. And I was so confused because everyone knew the positions. Everyone knew the names, the terms, rotations. I was confused. But even through that, I loved it. And here I am now. Was there ever a time you wanted to completely give up on volleyball? And yes, um, more than I'd like to admit, actually. Um, I struggled a lot at the beginning, especially with my serve. It took me a month constant practice to get my overhand serve. I never did underhand serve because I was just too strong-willed. I was like, I'm not doing an underhand serve. Not saying that it's a bad thing, but I just wanted my overhand. I was like, I'm gonna get my overhand serve. So I worked at it for a complete month and I thought that I would never ever get it. And I finally did. Um, and there were definitely times where I thought of giving up last season of high school ball. It was really, really rough. Um, but I pulled through, especially with the help of friends. <laughs> My best friend, she helped me so much through the last season, and it was a great, it was a rough season, but it ended up, um, helping me and shaping my character a lot. There were definitely times that I wanted to give up on volleyball, but I'm glad that I didn't because um, I've gotten to where I am today and if I would have quit, I wouldn't be here. And I'm going into my senior year of high school volleyball and I couldn't be happier and more excited about it. And I think that just working at it, staying consistent and just keep just keep going, keep going. Um, next question, what skill do you think came the hardest for you in volleyball? Um, at first, I thought it was gonna be serving. It took me a long time, like I said, but actually the hardest thing for me is passing. The most important skill in volleyball was the hardest for me. Um, I was a very, very inconsistent um, player with passing and it was so hard for me. I've had countless coaches work with me and try to train me. I've had private sessions. I've had, I've had all sorts of stuff. I've had multiple coaches and um, refs even help me and I couldn't get it. I just couldn't get it down. I could not get it. It, 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 did, it just didn't click. Last club season I had two incredible coaches and an, an amazing assistant coach and um, a coach for a younger team. There was four people, they helped me, and I have become a much better passer. I'm nowhere near perfect, but I'm a lot better at passing than I was before last club season. Next question, how long have you been playing volleyball? I have been playing for three years. This is the start of my third year, but I'm about to start my fifth season of volleyball. I've played for two club seasons, two high school seasons, and I'm about to start my third high school season. And then in January, I will start my third club season. So I will have played six seasons total by the time I graduate. Next question, what is your favorite college volleyball team? I'm a Texas fan, but I watch Oregon too. Haha, <laughs> love you. Okay, love you too. Um, favorite college team to watch? I love Michigan State. Don't know why. They've always been such a good team and they're an incredible, like they're just, they're an incredible team. That's all I have to say. My top two favorites would be Michigan State 
and NC State University because I love my North Carolina. So NC State. What is your favorite snack to bring to volleyball if you do? Of course I bring snacks. My favorite snacks are fruit and protein bars. Um, I love the Cliff Builder protein bars. They have 20 grams of protein and they're so good. And I also love fruit. I like the little tangerines. Um, I like bananas. I like to take pineapple, grapes, strawberries, watermelon, whatever. A lot of natural sugars, a lot of protein. Um, and I also love pretzels and peanut butter. Oh my goodness. Next question. Hi, I'm from Colombia. Oh, I love your videos. I always watch them. You're awesome and love the fact that you show your love for God. Question. What's your height? I am 5'7". I think I'm 5'7". I was 5'6". I'm pretty sure I'm 5'7 now, so that's, that's cool. Your favorite food? So this isn't volleyball related, but I'm just going to answer all of these now. My favorite food and favorite video game, if you play any. I play volleyball 2 since 2011. Ah, uh, yay, volleyball twins. Food. Oh, man. I love pizza. I love steak. Love potatoes. Love potatoes. Love potatoes. I just really like steak and potatoes. Favorite video game, if you play any. I really don't play video games. I'm just going to say Mario Kart. I love Mario Kart. I, when the Wii was still a big thing, like the original Wii, I loved Mario Super Sluggers. And I also, I like Minecraft, yeah. And I like Fortnite. I picked up playing Fortnite while I was in South Africa with my friends. And it was so fun. If you're in the same room playing with friends or at least talking with them, it's so fun. I think it would be quite boring if you didn't play with anyone else that you knew, but Fortnite's pretty cool. Okay, next question. Who is your volleyball idol? I watch your videos from Ecuador. Love you. Everyone is from other countries. It makes me so happy. Um, my volleyball idol. Um, I really, really, really like Alicia Glass. She was on the 2016 Olympic team. Um, so good. Also really, really like Jordan Larson. She's an incredible player as well. But I also really like Natalie Hagland. Natalie Hagland is an incredible libero. And one of the reasons I like Natalie Hagland so much is the fact that I have her Olympic jersey. Um, <laughs> yeah, she was doing a giveaway on her Instagram um, after the Olympics ended and she was giving away one of her Olympic jerseys from the 2016 Olympic Games and I won it and she signed it for me and she also wrote me the sweetest little note and so I have her signature and everything and uh, so those are my three favorites. Next question college plans volleyball and career wise i am not completely sure um i am planning on playing volleyball in college if i make the team right now i'm planning on going to a community college for the first year um maybe first two years not sure um and i'm hoping and planning on playing for that community college um but i may see it's still up in the air on the career thing because you know once your senior year is about to start, you begin to question all your life decisions. So, main two options, which are totally opposite, okay, totally opposite, um, is going on the mission field. Um, that's still a really big possibility. Probably what I'll end up doing um, is going on the mission field. The other option is a pastry chef, so <laughs> not at all related at all. And so these are gonna be the last questions for this video. Um, what college are you planning on going to if you're planning to go to college? Um, I'm not gonna announce what college I'm going to um, because it's a community college, so it's quite a small school. Um, so I'm going to community college. There's that. Um, but I'm not sure, like I said, what I'm doing after. Do you think you'll play college volleyball? Yes, I'm planning on it. Um, community college, I'm not tall enough to be an outside hitter at even a D3 school. Uh, so being 5'7 and an outside hitter is quite the challenge, I will say, especially when you're trying to play college. But in a community college, it's not unheard of. It is possible if you're a good outside hitter. So wish me luck, keep me in your prayers. Maybe I'll be able to make a community college team. Um, we'll see what happens. Do you think that starting volleyball my senior year is a bad idea since it is my last year of high school? No. I think it's a great idea. I think you should do it. I think that no matter what, you should start because you may fall in love with it. Just start. If you want to start, if there's a slight part of you that wants to play volleyball, 
do it. What are your tips for making the volleyball team? Like I said, hard work, hustle, being a coachable person, um, asking questions, and just being friendly, talking to the girls, even if they're complete strangers, um, and talking to the coaches, asking questions, um, getting to know the coaches, the players who are trying out with you. But just get to know the girls, get to know your coaches or potential coaches, um, and just just be friendly. Even if you're really, really shy, get out of your comfort zone. It may help you to get a spot on that team if you play hard. Okay guys, so that is my volleyball Q&A. I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing the Q&A and if you've made it to the end of this video, I am so proud of you. If you have made it to the end of this video, give it a thumbs up, okay? Because you've already made it this far, why not click the thumbs up? And I don't see why you wouldn't want to subscribe, so hit that red subscribe button down below and also click the bell. It notifies you of when I post a new video so you don't miss another video like this one. Um, more volleyball videos, more lifestyle videos are coming your way, so make sure you subscribe because senior year is going to be a whirlwind and a roller coaster, and I'm definitely taking you guys along with me. I'm gonna be doing lots of vlogs, lots of volleyball videos, lots of lifestyle videos because I want to bring you into my life on my last year of high school. Yeah, I hope this answered some of your questions about tryouts, volleyball, um, me in general, just playing. Um, and I get a lot of questions. Um, I've already said I'm 5'7". I am an outside hitter. I have played setter. I have played middle. I have played back row. And I've played right side hitter. I've played every position except libero. I will see you guys next time for another video. Um, yeah, I love you guys. Help us get to 5,000 subscribers before the end of 2018 because I've already started to collect giveaway prizes, so um, it's pretty cool. I will see you guys next time. Bye! Whoosh!